Extraordinary right here, Mr. Chad Masters and Billy Smith from APHA, and they're going to kind of be talking about uh, horse health, horse health initiative. Um, we can probably take some questions, you know, that kind of deal. I can walk out with a microphone if you have a question. But uh, we're going to kind of be visiting up here about the, the products and, and all kinds of probably different topics. But, uh, Doctor, let us know kind of what we've got going on up here and, and, and what, we, what we want to talk about a little bit. Well, we're going to go ahead and uh, have Chad talk to you about uh, how he manages his horses. Right, sure. And uh, because he's on the road a lot. And, uh, you know, it travels an enormous number of miles. And, you know, what he does is keep his horses tip top. Right. Uh, Billy's going to talk about the, uh, you know, trends in the paint horse industry. Sure. And, uh, and how it relates to actually what's occurring, you know, you know based on, you know, the, the economy and right. things of this nature. So right. without, uh, you know, whatever I can supply uh, product-wise, I'll certainly give you, you whatever bet. information I can. You but bet. Well, that's, that's great. And, and, you know, Chad, I may be asking you questions as well but uh but so you're gonna be talking about you know a lot of us ropers you know we could we go we're gone a day you know that kind of deal from the house at a team rope and something like that you guys are on the road almost all year long you know you may be what home two months out of the year at, at the most and that's on and off you know it's not like you're at home too much straight or something but uh, talk about you know that and, and keeping your horses healthy you know on the road and and i'll, I'll kind of let you get into that deal a little bit yeah, for me, um, I've rode about the same, I don't know, three or four horses for the past six or seven years. Um, and they, you know, they get issues where they're sore and I have to swap them out back and forth from home. Um, the another, another thing that we have trouble with on the road is finding the same hay, switching right. their feeds up. Sure. You know, that's something that I kind of run into. And, um, but uh, as far as the exercising on them and the roping on them, you, you know, you, I get confused sometimes. I want to, you know, put a lot of pressure on them, right. do the full course run. Sure. And um, I found out that if I just go through the motions with them, um, get them long trotting them a lot. Right. Docs talk to me about long right. trotting them, getting them stretched out. You bet. You know, um, maybe not facing them as much. Sure. Finding some good steers that follow the rope where they don't hit a big weight on them. Right, right. As far as Louverson goes, I mean, it's never about, I mean, I think a lot of times people wait for signs, you know, to start using it, you know, and it's maybe sometimes, you know, it's too late by then, not too late, but I mean, you still want to do it, but it's a preventative as well. You know, same thing with going to the chiropractor or, or something like that, you know, it's, it's, I like to think, you know, let's get, ahead, let's get out ahead of this deal, you know, and talk about that, you know, as, as far as Luberson goes, Chad, as well, you know, giving to your horses and, and uh, kind of your regimen with that. Yeah, just like you're saying, um, back a few years ago before I started using Luberson, I've been on Luberson for probably three years now, and uh, before that I was injecting my horse's hocks once right. to twice a year. Sure. And um, since I've been on them, I haven't injected any horse in three years. Really? I really no have No kidding. Yep. I'm... I know as far as my heel horse, I didn't know if she was just kind of acting up or something, but I'd go in there, you know, make my heel run, that kind of deal, and she'd kind of, you know, stomp her front foot or something like that. We went to Luberson as well, you know, and this ain't part of the deal, folks. I mean, I, I actually used the stuff, you know, and started seeing a huge difference, you know. I mean, I don't even know what was causing it, or but I thought, you know, it won't hurt, you know. I mean, I need to be on, you know, I need to have her on it. You know, I'd heard so many great things about it. And uh, it's made a difference, you know, from, from what I can tell. And, and it's not just for horses. I mean, we've got dogs, you know, Australian Shepherds dogs that are 12 years old. You know, they're getting bad in the hips, you know, that kind of deal. You get them off the carpet into the kitchen. They can't get up a lot of times, you know. And it seems like it's made a, a difference on, on our dogs as well. You know, it's a, it's, it's a good deal. For well, sure. it improves the quality of life you know, right. of your pets and yourself. So you can do what you'd want to do, enjoy it, and certainly you're a lot more functional. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mr. Billy, as far as, you know, the American Paint Horse Association and, and you know, Luberson, and, and what do you guys got going on, and, and what's, your, what's your message you guys are trying to put out there? You know, one of the things that we see in the breed registry world is we've seen a trend over the last uh, eight to ten years of 
people owning fewer horses right. but for longer. Right, sure. And so older horses who get a little ding, get some dings on them, get some mileage on them. And w when we partnered with Lubricant, one of the things we were wanting to try to do is create an environment where our members had an easy, simple way to help maintain their horses. But what I discovered personally is, you know, there are 50-year-old men on this too. Right. So I, I, I have chronic knee problems. Right, sure. And it's been a real help, a real help for me. So, you know, I can speak from a personal standpoint but when we look at our membership and we start seeing how people are holding their horses longer in right. many cases, we know that a preventative kind of approach will create a much better relationship with their horses, much better opportunity for them to have a good experience with their horses. Sure, sure. And I think the key word, you know, we keep saying is preventative, you know, get out ahead of that thing. And if, if folks don't know, you know, how much they need to give with their feed or how much, you know, if it's human consumption, you know, they can find that out, you know, whether it's the website or back there, you know, at the booth, you know, there's a booth, they've got the Luberson booth, you know, it's kind of down this aisle, I think, take a left, take a right, you know, just right down there. But uh, they can tell us, you know, kind of kind of dosage and, and all those kind of things can, can be answered back there as well, I bet, can't they? Yeah, the, the, Nick's back here. He can help you out. Or, uh, Roger gets over here some right. too. But uh, they can give you, you know, the information. And we can tell you we have a list of endorses. Right, sure. You know, uh, uh, we're really proud of the, like, you know, I'm a two-time champion of the world, yes, you know, and, and probably going for his third buckle next year. And, yeah. you know, the first, probably the third of many more to come, uh, hopefully. But, you know, and we're proud, you know, that, that, that high quality, really, really good people use our product, ask us about how to use it and how to get the most out of it so they can get the most out of their horses. Right, sure, sure. And Chad, touch on it, you know, as far as feeding your horses. I mean, it's just a pump deal, you know, uh, that you add to your to your feed every morning or if you feed in the evenings, and, isn't that correct? Yeah. Yeah, it, um, you know, it just a couple pumps, like you said. Yeah. And um, I've uh, had some horses that, you know, wouldn't eat it in the feed. Or right. you're not big feed eaters. Some sure, of them get sure. used to the good hay. Absolutely. So I just put it in a syringe and squirt it in their mouth ah, as I well. Gotcha. Yeah. I got you. I hadn't thought of that as well. And I guess you can do that same with dogs or even humans, if you need a shot with a syringe there, you can take that route. But the, the Luberson, you know, for human consumption, it's a liquid. Is that right? You know, and just kind of kind of take your dosage there, I it's guess. It's flavor, too. It has ah, a great perfect. flavor and a natural oh, flavor. Yeah. So if you don't like the natural, you get a little great flavor. Right, got some great flavor to go. I wanted to let everybody know also we're taking questions out here. You know, if you have a, a particular, you know, situation going on with horses or dogs or a grandparent or anything, you know, well, we can sure answer those questions as well up here. But, uh, yeah, it's a great product. You know, we appreciate, um, you know, the folks at Luberson, you know, being here with us. Uh, I believe there's, you know, maybe for this show right now as far as the products, I think they've got 15% off maybe on everything going on back there. And uh, a lot of literature as well, right, back there? Yeah, there's a ton of literature and information and uh, a lot of information from the endorses, people that use the product from thoroughbreds right. to rodeo to barrel racers to show horse people around down the line. Right. And uh, in addition, there is a ton of uh, 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 testimonials. We have a book of testimonials there from Kentucky Derby winners. Right, you know, we've sure. had. We've had a number of horses on the product that have won the Kentucky Derby here in the last, you know, d decade. Right, sure. So. And this isn't, it's not a new product. I mean, you guys have been out, and like you said, you know, the, the endorsees that you have and, and, you know, touching on that Kentucky Derby deal, I mean, this isn't th something that's, you know, been out for a year now. I mean, it's a proven product, and, and you've, it's been out a while, right, Doc? Well, we've been going on, this is our ninth season. We started yes, uh, commercially, I, I started developing a product in 1998. And then uh, we actually got what the way we wanted, did research, did our safety tests, everything, you know. So you, you're really secure knowing that you've got a well-respected, well-tested product. But we started selling it commercially in 2004. Right, sure. And Billy, you had mentioned the American Paint Horse Association and Luberson have teamed up together. Is that right? You know, That's true. And, we, and one of the reasons we wanted a relationship like that is the simplicity of being able to administer this. And what we're seeing in the trends uh, in our marketplace, but also we've done a few things over the last uh, few months to increase our involvement uh, with the roping community. Right. Our, our world championship show, we sure. had 
about 1,400 team uh, team roping teams uh, there. It's the biggest one we've ever had. Absolutely. And uh, w when we create a partnership, we just don't go out and find anybody who'll show up. We try to find a partner that we can give value back to our our members and to their horses. Right. And so this fit real nicely. With the product fits very nicely into the trends that we're seeing in the marketplace. And, and the horse community over the last seven or eight years has gone through, candidly, some convulsions. It's right, been, sure. It's been a struggle. But what's starting to happen is people are, are holding their horses a little longer, and so that means we need to do things differently mm -hmm. to keep those horses really good and sound and feeling good so that people, you know, there's nothing worse than having a problem horse all the time. Right. It takes a lot of the fun out of what we do. Absolutely. And if you're not having fun, then it's just it's just not what you want to keep doing. And what our objective is is to keep people on their horses. Right. We don't want them to go buy boats. We want them to buy horses. Yes. So th that's really our objective, and to partner with people like Lubrison, who can help us on the education end too, mm -hmm. and give us some people like Dr. Alday who are experts that we can communicate back to our members the value of keeping their horses sound keeping their horses uh, uh, in a position where they're, the horse is in good shape and the experience of the member, in our case, is a good experience. Right, sure. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, there's, there's, like we've talked about, you know, you've got world champions, you know, that kind of deal, uh, you know, using Luberson, but there's so many folks out there that, you know, just horse owners, you know, and the word is starting to spread, you know, just from, from their cases as well. But Chad, tell us about, you know, when you first heard about Lu Luberson or if you had, you know, a, a certain situation going on, you know, uh, talk about your first experiences, you know, with Luberson and maybe who, who uh, told you about it. Um, the, when I first wanted to go to Luberson was uh, I have a better horse named Cody. He's got a striped face bay right. that I've rode yes. here at the finals. Absolutely. I've rode him at the U.S. finals. Sure. I've rode him for years. And um, I was only getting to ride him for six months or so, and then I'd have to turn him out for six months. And it just right. kept going on. I'd get eight months out of right, him sure. here, and then I'd, I'd turn him out turn for a year. Out. And um, I've been riding him for three years solid now, wow. or maybe even two and a half for sure. Yeah. But uh, I wanted to get him on it. I got him on it. Another testimony for myself was with my knee this right. winter. Right, absolutely. Um, knee injury. Yeah, it was in March. Mm -hmm. It happened on March 2nd. They told me that it would be, had a great doctor, Tandy, worked on yes. me. Yes. He uh, said that it would be eight months before I felt, you know, good enough to rope. Right. And um, told me he ended up doing my second surgery because I just wanted to rope. As right. soon as I got hurt, I knew that I needed every advantage oh, yeah. I could get on. Absolutely. So I got on Luberson. Yeah. Charlie Crawford was there at the right, house. Sure. He had some. He was sure. taken. I just went to take and hit. I stole it from oh, him. Oh, yeah. I went oh, to yeah. take it. Oh, yeah. And uh, I wanted every advantage. I had two surgeries, and I started roping within – three months really? versus the eight versus the eight yep so yeah. and um all i know is that i progressively got better right you know I, they it kept telling me i'm coming back too early which i'm sure it did oh yeah oh yeah but on paper every week it got better right sure how's your knee feeling feels great i honestly do feel 100 percent, 90 to 100 yeah. percent. yeah Perfect. now cody spent a winter with me you know because i you you sent him over there at one time when he had a uh kind of like one of his down periods and he was a little bit of a puzzle but, uh, you know, we talked about, like, a conditioning program, preventative, and staying ahead of things. You know, uh, you've won the U.S. Up on him once or twice? Twice now. Twice now, okay. And, uh, I mean, he's, he's quite a horse, actually. I mean, he's a bit of a character. I mean, couldn't have been a better, you know, he stayed at my house. I got a pretty nice barn. And uh, I was actually, you know, tempted to just tell Chad that, like, you know, Chad, I don't think I can fix him. Maybe you should just leave him here. <laughs> yeah. It, it really is the truth. I went to get him because he had told me he'd kind of done everything he could do for him, you know, as far as getting his shoe in right, getting his feet level. And, right. you know, Doc's visited yeah. with me about, you know, some of us don't know. I can have any shoer can shoe my horse, and it looks good to me. Right, sure. I can't tell exactly. whether it's a good job or a bad exactly. job. And maybe Doc can talk to us about what some things are. And he was talking about being level, and we had to level him out a little bit, just small stuff like that. Right. And uh, I go to get him, and I'm thinking that I'm just picking him up to take home and turn right, out. sure. Yeah. And he's like, no, you go. It's he's ready time. to go. Yeah. yeah. He was He was definitely ready to go. It's just that, you know, the, the background and everything that we built up to that point, 
we just wanted to make sure that he could continue on. And so I gave him a regimen, and uh, I guess I talked to Bambi about the conditioning part, and uh, you know how to you know he warm him up, and then how to you know to to get the most out of him. And then by the time I saw Chad in the fall, I guess I saw you at the U.S. U.S. Finals, I guess, you know, you said, well, you know, I haven't run him a lot, but, I mean, I've taken him to, like, four Ropens. I've won right. or five Ropens. I think you said you'd won four, and the U.S. Open was one of them. And you were probably, you know, maybe a little skeptic, you know, just like your knee, you know. I mean, you, you probably didn't jump right out there, but, I mean, you probably started noticing differences, you know, improvements pretty quick there, you know. Yes, sir. It, it, it had been such a habit of babying exactly. him. Exactly. You know, exactly. just trying to use him at this one rope and ride him at the BFI, mm -hmm. save him all the way to the right, U.S. Sure. finals, save him for the NFR if I need to. And uh, it, it's been hard on me to just yeah. – every time I go somewhere now, I take him. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Because he's 16 now. I don't. You might not ever get another one like him. Right, absolutely. So I try to use him every chance I get. He's staying sound. He's been – Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well – Let's get some questions. Yes. Got some questions here? Is there any questions out there for these guys? You know, whether it's, you know, the, the doc here about <coughs> Luberson, you know, or the, you know, the association with the, uh, our friends there at the, uh, the paint horse or Chad, you know, going up and down the road or anything like that. Surely somebody out there has got a question. It's a, it's a free seminar right here. You don't get this very often, you know, with these guys. But uh, you're getting free advice from me. I got a lot of experience, but a two-time world champion and Billy's been up and down the road with the Pain Horse Association for quite sure. a while. So sure. if we could, we could answer anything questions you have, just please, uh, we'll get a mic down to you and fire away. Yeah. Any questions? Any questions? Here's one. Here we go. <coughs> All right. All right. What you got, buddy? Uh, do you think it would work on arthritis in horses? Did you uh, hear that? Yeah, that's that's what it's developed for. Uh, arthritis is described as the loss of cartilage. And so when you lose cartilage, deteriorate it, you break down a lot of the fluid and you get a lot of particulate matter in the joint and it creates discomfort and, and pain on movement. Um, when you replace the hyaluronic acid, which is the main constituent of the fluid in the joint, you increase the function, you basically have a better medium to, to repair damage, and you have a freer, more flowing, a, a lot more comfortable joint. So it, that's what it's developed for, is for arthritis. Anybody else? Here we go. I'm sorry. <coughs> right, sure, sure. Doc, what she's asking, you know, just as a follow-up to the arthritis question there, older horses, you know, 22 year old you know horse i mean she's asking you know is it maybe a go uh, okay good time to go ahead and maybe start the process you know with luberson will, will will she see a difference yeah you'll see a big difference um we had someone here the other day when we were here and she she told me she had uh, started a horse a 23 year old that had been uh, diagnosed with uh, low ring bone right and they had told her that the horse was finished and she, you know, I didn't, wasn't sure where she was going with this, but she said the 23-year-old mare, you know, back was now, she was trail riding it, using it regularly, and uh, the only thing she was using was uh, was uh, Luberson on it. So I right. was, uh, you know, I, I, I didn't know if I was getting set up or not. You know, maybe she's going to tell me that stuff doesn't work or something. But, right, sure. but she, it was quite an endorsement. It was actually it was a really, really good endorsement. So even on horses at that age, you know, you may not be riding them or performing, but as far as their comfort level, turned out in the pasture i mean that's a that's a great way to to help prevent some of that as well quality of life it right, pr sure. improves quality of life they have a lot of wear and tear and a lot of you know they've got a lot of mileage from what they've done for a living right. so it improves the quality of life we use it at old friends uh uh thoroughbred retirement farm for these race horses that have been you know worn and torn right. horses that have made been champions made millions of dollars improves their quality of life so they can you know Enjoy their golden sure, days. Be sure. comfortable, yeah. we got about three more minutes here. Any more questions? Anybody got anything for these folks, whether it's Chad Masters or Billy? There's one right here. What you got, sir? Yes, he was just wanting to make sure that uh, he heard correctly that people can use this product as well. Yes, sir, absolutely. No, we have uh, quite, a, quite a following. It's growing quite a bit, but it, it really, really will improve – you're, if you have arthritis or if you're stiff and sore, range of motion, it'll improve your quality of life, uh, definitely. I mean, I use it every day, and it's made a big difference in, in my life, and I know a lot of number of people that have sustained injuries and just have normal wear and tear it makes a big difference. What you got, buddy? I've been using the human form for the last year. I have a bad arthritic knee. 
and I can tell when I don't take it. And, uh, you know, some days you forget in the morning, and uh, it works great. My knee works great. Well, thank you for yeah. your patronage. Appreciate it. And you were talking about the flavor as well, you know, for human consumption. You've got different flavors, you know, not just the grape, grape, sure. uh, grape flavor, flavor of choice right here. We have here. a nat natural and a grape, but I like the grape too. Right, sure, sure, absolutely. Anybody else got a question here real quick? Well, I tell you what, we've run out of time, but I want to let everybody know, just in case you were nervous about talking on the microphone, they've got their booth back here. They've got 15% off um, on their products. You probably can't find that at your local store. You know it's exclusive right now here at the NRS uh, Shopping Experience. And uh, so head back to their booth. Doc, you're hanging around a little bit. You know, he'll be back there, you know, but more than happy to visit with you. But uh, I want to thank you all for, for joining us up here. Billy Smith with the American Pain Horse, World Champion Team Roper, Chad Masters, and Dr. Uh, Allday there with Luberson. Thank you all again. Y'all give them a hand real quick there.